Put on their lift out, and we're good to- Oh, shoot! Alex, watch out, watch out! Oh, shoot! Hey, hey, we're re- We got reap orders, man, relax. We got reap orders. We got reap orders. Relax, man. Relax, relax. Oh! Hey, what's up guys? See you boys. Pilot2K7 back for another Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Today, if you look down below in the bottom left near the map, you can see it is 4.46 in the morning, guys. This is like the earliest we've ever been up. If you look out through the window, you see the sun is just starting to come up soon, so we kind of have to hurry up because today is May 1st, Wednesday, May 1st. It's the first of the month, and we have some new... Uh, repos to do. We have some new repo orders from the bank. So we're actually going to be going after two vehicles today. Let's go ahead and talk to Jess and see what we're going to be going after. Okay, guys, so we're going after two vehicles this morning. The first one is going to be a red Toyota Sienna license plate 88 NRT 671. And we just go by the license plate since um, in the game we don't have VIN numbers to look at. So we just go by the license plates. I know in real life you use the VIN. And then we're also going to be going after a white Chevy Malibu license plate 80DQJ371. Alright guys, so now that we know what we are going after, let's go ahead and head out. So we're going to go here. There we go. Hey, Jess, um, Alex is coming with me, okay? All right, cool. So we are going to bring one of our workers with us today. We're going to bring Alex because last time we went and did a repos, I don't know if you guys remember, but we got shot at. And because we got shot at, we're also wearing bulletproof vest this time as well. So definitely want to be really careful this time. So most of the trucks are out right now. A couple of them are... Or most of them actually are here. A couple of them are actually out on the road. We do have the heavy duty here as well as all of the rollbacks in right now. Now we haven't used the F550 in a while, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out today. Alright, let's go ahead and get it started up. Alright, lights are working good. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, so we're gonna take this out. Obviously, we're gonna turn all the lights off because we want to try to we want to try to be sneaky. Like you know, it's kind of hard to do repos. The trucks are loud. There's bright colors on the truck. That's why I'm kind of using this blacked out truck a little bit. So hopefully, we could kind of sneak up and catch the two people today. Recover the vehicle. So both of them are over six months late. The bank is tired of them missing payments, and they want us to repossess the vehicle and get it back for them. So. Alex should be out here somewhere. Where is he at? He told me he was doing a or taking a smoke break. Where the heck is he? Alright, I'm about to call his cell phone because I don't know where the heck he's at right now. I told him meet me here at 445. Oh, here he comes. Where the heck did he go? Finally. All right, you ready? You ready to work? Dang, it took forever. We already lost about five minutes. All right, we got to head out. Now, I think we should go after the town of Sienna first because it's in more of a rough neighborhood, if you guys know what I mean. It's actually out here right near Davis. So let's head and get that one first because I definitely want to try to get them before the people wake up. So most people don't wake up this early or at least they're not in their vehicles yet. And this guy is late on his payment, so I don't think he has to, like, go to work or anything like that. So we're going to try to catch him before he uh, starts his day. Oh, let's turn on our headlights, actually. So we're just about a mile away. It shouldn't take us too long to get there. But if you guys do enjoy this episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Also, leave some comments down below. And subscribe if you are new. Alright, guys. So we're just about there. It should be at the end of this block. Ok, 
this. So, a lot of the times when people know that their car is up for repo, they won't park it on the street. So, let's check the driveway. Alright, so I don't see it in the driveway. That's the house right there, that greenhouse on the corner with the red uh, garage door. So, if it's locked up in the garage, we have a problem. We can't just like bust open a lock. If it's unlocked, we may be able to get it. Um, oh man, I don't know what to do. I don't see it, so let's do a U-turn and just try to see if we get a close and low. Well, let's actually just turn left, actually. Make this left turn. I see a Ford Explorer in the backyard. But we're looking for a Toyota Sienna. Let's check this alleyway here. Nope, it's not an alley. Where the heck is this car, I guess? I wonder if he's hiding it behind the Explorer. Sometimes people do that. Sometimes they will use like one car to try to block another car. So like say they know that they're good on their Explorer, but he knows that the uh, Sienna is up for repo. He could be trying to block the Sienna so we don't see it. So let's take a risk and let's see if it's back there. Alright, he's probably going to hear this perverse noise, it's probably going to wake him up. Oh, yep, there it is guys, it's there, it's there, okay. Let's try to grab this thing fast before somebody comes outside. Now, he did block it in with the Explorer, but I think we could winch it out here. So this is going to be kind of difficult, but at least we have Alex here to kind of watch our back while we do this here. Let's get out and take a look. Alright guys, so 88NRT671. Any of you guys remember? I remember that is the correct license plate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing hooked. We're just going to try to winch it out sideways, pull it that way, then we should be able to uh, grab it out here. So just watch my back, okay Alex? Alright, so let's try to pull this thing out here. Okay, we're having trouble pulling it, unfortunately. Oh, now it's coming. I didn't know we were still attached to it. That was kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, I see the rope is moving, but it's not actually pulling it. Sometimes it does that, so what we're going to do instead, I'm just going to have to pull it forward. I didn't want to do this, but it is what it is, so let's just try to pull it forward, not into the Explorer. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now let's try to attach to it, lift it up, okay, we got it. I was really hoping to be able to winch it out, but sometimes that winch doesn't pull vehicles. I don't know if, like, if it's too heavy or what, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we got it. Alright, Alex, let's get out of here before this guy comes outside. I'm just going to make sure everything is good. Okay, we got the underreach out, or the underlift out, and we're good to... Oh, shoot! Alex, watch out, watch out! Oh, shoot! 
Hey, hey, we're re we got repo orders, man. Relax, we got repo orders. We got repo orders. Relax, man. Relax, relax. Oh. Oh, sh yo, that's why I brought Alex with me. All right, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll call the police. We got everything documented. That's why we we're in our cameras and everything like that. So we're gonna call the police. We'll call the MS. We'll let him know what happened. But he he attacked us first. I tried to tell him we have repo orders for the vehicle. He did not want to hear it. Oh, that was so crazy right there. Right? So I'm gonna go ahead and call them. And we'll probably have to wait for the police to come so we could uh, do a police report or whatever. But he, he assaulted us first, though. That was crazy. All right. Uh, all right, guys. So the police just finished the police report. Uh, EMS is on scene to check on the guy. He seems to be okay, though. But um, we're clear. We showed him the proof of everything and that the guy attacked us first. Um, we're probably going to press charges on him, honestly. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the shop. It's currently 5.12 now, so we wasted like nearly about 20 minutes or so here. So you see there goes the police car, there goes the ambulance. So let's get back to the shop and see if we could grab this other repo before it gets too late, guys. Alright guys, so we're almost back to our shop. Uh, decent recovery there. Um, at least the person didn't have a weapon, you know? Like I said, we kind of go into it expecting to get attacked and stuff like that, but at least he didn't pull out a knife, he didn't pull out a gun, so... You know, it is what it is. It's part of the job, unfortunately. So it's 5.15 now. It's still pretty early, so I think we could still hit the second location. I think we'll be able to hit it in time. All right, so we're gonna park it out in the back of the shop. That way it's nice and safe, and then we'll let the bank know that we have recovered it, and we'll see what they want us to do. Sometimes they just want us to hold it until the person makes some payments and they get up, and they get caught up to date. Other times they want us to completely um, take it back to the dealership, and they pretty much try to sell it to regain that their loss. So we'll see what they want us to do. Barely made that turn there. All right, I'm gonna park it up in the uh, corner so it's out of the way. All right, 
So right there should be good. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. I meant to lower it first. Alright, so let's head back out. Alright, so I just told Alex to um, just send Jess a message so that she know that we recovered the Sienna. So let's go look for that Malibu now. The Malibu should be closer. It's somewhere out here. Um, once we get over there, I'll try to figure out exactly where it's at. I know it's like another apartment. It's going to be... I think it's going to be around here. Hopefully, there's no surprises at that location. Alright, so that's only one mile away, so we should be there pretty soon. No! No! Uh! Alright, so it should be right up here at this apartment complex. Hopefully their apartment doesn't have a view of the parking lot and they won't notice us repoing their vehicle. Alright, should be this parking lot right over here. I'm surely driving first because I'm always making so much noise in reverse. Alright, looks like this is it right here. This one should be pretty easy. This is a cool camera view right here. Book it and book it. Just want to make sure we're not hitting the uh, top of this garage area. Let's lower that all the way down. Alright, let's lift it up. Uh, let's not lift it up too much. Alright, let's just confirm this is the vehicle. Anybody remember the license plate? Let's check. It's hard to see right there. Let me check the back. There we go. So 80DQJ371. That sounds familiar. Let's double check. And it is correct. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and take this. And let's get out of here before we get attacked again. I can't get in on this side for some reason. Let's go in on this side. Alright, watch me, Alex. I wonder if I could pull this one out. I want to try I want, to, I want to try to pull this one out. Hold up. See if our winch works on this one. Nope. It's not working. It worked? It worked? Yesterday when we used the heavy duty record, but it doesn't want to work today. Alright, we'll just attach the regular way. Lift up. Gotta watch that seal in there. Okay, we can lift up all the way now. And let's try to cut this turn to the left. Back up a bit. Perfect. Alright, we out guys. This one went off without a hitch. This person is going to be tight when they come outside in the morning. Alright, so our plan pretty much worked. We were able to get both cars before 6 o'clock. That was my goal. Most people don't leave their house before 6. Some people do, obviously, but I had a feeling these people would be home and they would not be leaving their house so early in the morning. So I looked out. It looks like everything worked out, guys. So let's make our way back to the shop and let the bank know that we recovered both vehicles. And we'll see what they want us to do with them. All 
Okay, so we're just gonna skip all the lights on the way back. We're actually back already, that was kind of fast. back to the shop. Let's go park this one up right next to that Toyota Sienna. And also guys, let me know if you guys want to do more repo videos or if you guys want to do more like accident scenes and recoveries and stuff with our tow trucks. And also let me know which trucks you guys would like me to use. I have been using a heavy duty record SD Peterbilt. Um, we have been using that a lot, but I'm going to try to use some of the other tow trucks as well. But we will continue to use the heavy duty as well. So let me know what you guys would like me to use next. So we have the white one. That's the Peterbilt heavy duty wrecker. We have also another Peterbilt. That one is the rollback. Kenworth rollback. CXT. Durastar. F550. And I'm working on getting some new tow trucks as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned if you guys do enjoy the tow series. Oh my god, really? Uh, you know what? I forgot to freeze the Sienna, so it fell through the map when we left. I'll see if I could get it back up here. Let's see if I go here, here. So let's freeze it and then let's move it up and it should be where we left it. There it is. Now let's just unfreeze it. go. I'll put that right there and I will refreeze it so it doesn't fall again. So if you guys do use this map, do remember once you leave everything would fall through the ground if you don't freeze it. So always just freeze the vehicles as that way it stays where I put them. down I'll release it and we'll head back inside so we're done for today at least for now the day is still early so who knows what else we will get into right now or at least for the day so we'll turn that off and we will head inside oh nope before I do that I almost forgot to freeze the uh, Malibu now so let's freeze that one there we go all right, so let's head back into the shop, have a coffee, relax for a little while, and then we'll get right back to work because we do have a lot of things to do today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button, leave some comments down below, and um, let me know what you guys would like to see in the next episode. All right, guys? Hey, Jess, we got both of the vehicles. We got into a little fight. We had the police and the AMS come. No, no, not for us, for the other guy. But um, it was crazy. But we got the vehicle, so you can let the bank know we got the vehicle. So let me know uh, what they want to do with the two vehicles. All right? All right, cool. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.